We are currently preparing for a huge adventure that involves the snowy mountains and warm beaches of Europe. But after my spooky two nights hammock camping in the woods, I'm sure I can still hear footsteps. I'd somehow bought our self-converted van home in quiet state. You would live in an absolute pigsty if it wasn't for me. In this week's episode, the van gets a few mods. <laughs> We nearly get divorced over a snow chain debacle. Yeah, I understand that, I get that. Let me try and explain to you what I'm trying to say. And I get told off. A lot. Don't give me excuses, Louise. Don't you even. I see you've like crammed stuff in all over the place. Constantly hen peck, don't I? Peck, 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 peck. Oh, and also a big thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this week's video. Good morning, folks. Welcome back to the van. Look who's back! Yay! Not you, Fanny. Fanny the van is back. Emily's very impressed with the state of it, isn't you? Mm -hmm. It's a very exciting day today. Day today. We haven't filmed for a while, so we're going to be a bit off, aren't we? We are, but we'll get there. And we are moving back into the van, and it looks great. Yeah, to you. So the van is in a bit of a mess, as many of you remember, I've just been on a camping trip in the woods in a haunted forest, very very good trip, but um, yeah the van's um, a bit of a state. I never said that you could take these biscuits. And on that note, we're going to go for a big clean up. <laughs> You're chicken. Now their feet put on their face, standing on the edge of a night, hoping to goodbye, hoping to goodbye. Bloody bin men broke our bin. You're so much stronger than you think. I've forgotten how long it takes to boil the water. <laughs> this is my water boil dance. I feel it's a new move. If anyone wants to know how Emily wooed me into this marriage, it was with those exact moves, wasn't it? Ah, uh, the moves are just spot on. I'd add a few. A lot of this is still Scottish dirt. Don't you even think about it. I cleaned it out before you went away. You would live in an absolute pigsty if it wasn't for me. I'm telling you. <laughs> Don't give me excuses, Louise. It was clean. Toothbrush is that? Yours. <laughs> Sod off, is it? <laughs> yeah. I'll put it back in the pot for you after, all right? <laughs> <You> dick. <laughs> no, it didn't take too long. Well, we've hardly like touched the surface, Louise. I see you've like crammed stuff in all over the place. Sweet corn does not go up there. Well, I couldn't get it in here because it's full of your shit. Right. <laughs> Tins go down in the bottom cupboard. That's a top tip as well. Well, I don't know, do I? I want to keep the weight low. Yeah. And snacks go in the top four cupboards, is that right? That's right, yeah. Everybody has to have a snack cupboard, Louise. Yeah, but you've got a couple going on. It's imperative. It? Oh, she's heavy. She is a beast, isn't she? She is a beast, but she is not coming. Fun the clunge is not coming on this trip, which is sad. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> but we, we need the space for more adventure toys, so it's very exciting. So Fun the clunge is going to retire for the next three months and have a trip off. Although I think you might need to take her just to get your fitness back. I can carry up. She's fine. Yeah. Okay. She's just awkward. Bye bye, Fun the clunge. The skis. <laughs> You're not looking forward to skiing? I'm not looking forward to the lift. <laughs> the skiing, the skiing I'm looking forward to. What I'm not looking forward to is the lift that takes you up to the slope because we've had a couple of lessons and can't, I can't get off the lift. I can't <laughs> get off the lift. I get off the lift and just roll back down. So it's gonna be interesting. 
We're supposed to be leaving in two days and this one wants to clean every nook and cranny. Every cracking fanny's getting a going over, isn't it? <laughs> and so it begins. The boring stuff's over, but now the fun stuff starts. As is always the case over the winter, Emily's been shopping and bought a load of new tat that she needs to add into the van. First job, I think, is new storage. We like new storage, you always need new storage. So we can keep adding weight and weight and weight and right. weight to the van and get heavier oh. and heavier and heavier. I'll tell you, oh, different when you've got your camping stuff though, isn't it? Different when we can get like a hard kayak canoe thing on the top though, isn't it? Spoiler alert, I'm gonna go for a hard canoe thing on the top and Thunder Clunge may retire full time. But for now, storage. It's gonna rattle when I'm driving, isn't it? <laughs> It's not going to be that one, is it? Little one. Yep. I need my drill. I can get that for you because I can see in the cupboard. <laughs> <laughs> I mean your crocs. <laughs> you want me to film your crocs? Then What's I'm... wrong with my crocs? You want them to be on camera that yeah, much? Yeah, I do, you yeah. You like them that much? Come on, let's go and film your crocs. Yep. Let's go and get the drill and film your crocs. That's right, let's do it. Let's go. Emily's got some new crocs she's very proud of. I think they're ridiculous. They're not ridiculous. They're very functional. You will see. Here's some footage of Emily's new crocs while we go and get the drill from the dark cupboard. Let me know in the comments if they are ridiculous or not. Trying to show that they're useful. They are useful. <laughs> they are, look, I found it. <laughs> and you wouldn't have found it without the crocs, no? No. <laughs> look how good they are, you're just pointing with your foot. There's loads in there. Emily's bought them specifically for when AJ has to have his, like, his nighttime wee and you don't want to put proper shoes on so you can just slip them on slip and go on. outside. Yeah, <laughs> this is it. But they've got holes in, so I reckon you're going to get pee on your feet. No, he's better aim than that. He's got better aim than that. What do you want to show him? They've got three settings. <laughs> First setting, on constant. Second setting, party mode. Third setting, calm down mode end of the night. Oh, honestly, these are going to be so good, so useful. Multifunctional. We was keeping our tea, coffee and sugar pots there, but they just rattled too much when we drove. So we've changed it a bit because AJ needs somewhere for all his treats and coats and winter gear and everything, doesn't he? And so does summer. There's summy treats in there as well. So has AJ got his own snack cupboard now? AJ and summer have got their own snack cupboard, yeah. Ready, look. Woohoo! And then his coats and that can go in there and then he's got his towel for when he's wet there. Sorted. It's good, right? And it's a good job we had that tidy up, isn't it? Because the van is looking spick and span again. <laughs> yeah, but I don't mind this kind of mess because I made it. <laughs> it's different when it's yours. You should clean up after yourself. I'm doing sorting stuff and getting us more like prepared and that, you know? And what am I doing? Nothing. But you put a few hooks up.
we've relocated someone's litter tray back to hidden in a cupboard. When we had a bench seat, it was under there originally, and then Genius over here decided it could go out in the open, oh, and now, now you've changed your mind, didn't you? So yes. it's back to underneath there. How's the clean up going? Long, absolutely long. There's so, so dirty. I don't know what you do. You must just like ooze dirtiness. Current state of affairs, it is just getting messier <laughs> by the second, but it has to get worse to get better, right? It does, it does. And to be fair, this is all sorting stuff and like I say, cleaning everything, giving it a good scrub out because, yeah. Looking good! Oh, yeah! <laughs> And your crop torches, you'll break them. And you'll buy me new ones. No, you're not. <laughs> not even that anywhere near my credit card station. <laughs> Too late. Because the van's been sat for about a month, really, without doing anything, that the water that was in the tank would just be all stagnant. So we are going to flush it through with some fresh water tank cleaner. Elsan is the brand we're using. I've used it once before, seems alright, so... Well, you can't really tell, can you? Well, we ain't dead yet, are we? We didn't die! Also, we don't have a long hose or an outside tap, so this is the way we roll. Like five, six tubs later. Very handy, though, if you've got an um, underslung tanks like us and you are in an abroad country... In an abroad country? <laughs> if you're abroad <laughs> and you can't get close to the water tap, you can do it this way, so not ideal, but it does a job. Look, I fixed the thing there. Oh! Bad time. So we don't have... Only six months. Yeah. I reckon longer, actually. Constantly hen peck, don't I? Peck, 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 peck. It's fixed. Like, you should be like, oh, that's good. It's fixed. That's good, like, that's good. I'm glad that's fixed. If it was fixed within a week, I feel six to 12 months is a long time, Louise. <laughs> I feel six to oh, 12 gosh. months is the average lead time these days for any tradesperson. <laughs> well, I'm just as well I ain't paying for you. Right, steady. <laughs> <laughs> Thirsty. Don't cause I'll get you. It's heavy. Oh. The weather outside is turning, got a beautiful rainbow, but there's one more job we can do inside before it's gotta be coming on for dinner time, right? It's gotta be I'm hungry. Because we use this as a walkway basically to get into the back of the van, we tread on this a lot and then AJ obviously spends a lot of time there so all the hairs and dirt and grit are getting in underneath this panel which is also getting broken, that's where the fuel tank is and then that panel there, that's where the battery is so we've bought a great big rubber mat. Fanny's getting some rubber! Oh, this is horrendous! I'm not prepared for this noise! So yeah, well hopefully it's going to fit and then we can chuck that down, it's just an extra layer of protection then between the dirt and the rest of the van. Always got to use protection. Always use protection! <laughs> See, you're on it! You're on board, aren't you? It just come to me. <laughs> uh, do you want to do it or, should, or you, actually you're smaller? I'll do it. Hopefully that's going to give us quite a bit more protection and it might even add a bit of insulation and keep out some of the road noise. We will keep you posted on if it's any good or not. Right, I will go and start dinner, yeah? I've been cooking. I have been cooking and that is in large part thanks to this week's video sponsor which is HelloFresh. If you are anything like me then the whole process of trying to prepare a good meal can become quite the ordeal. You've got to go out, make sure you're buying healthy, correct ingredients, come back, remember which recipe you're trying to use. The whole organisation process of prepping a good dinner can be quite stressful, especially when you lead a busy life. HelloFresh just takes that all away. It's an online meal subscription service. So basically you just go on the website, pick out your meals from the huge array to choose from. They then send out a box in it, a numbered bag, so you know what ingredients are for what meal, easy to follow recipe cards, and most importantly, fresh high quality ingredients. 
When it comes to the weekly shop, we tend to buy the same old, what, seven to 10 mils, and then we just repeat that process throughout the year, so variety becomes very limited. Because you go on the website and there's just so much to choose from, it does encourage you to eat different things. For me, that makes dinner way more exciting. Couple that with a simple process and the fact you can cook a decent meal in about 20 minutes, then it encourages me to do far more cooking than I normally would. The portion sizes are actually really good too. So that means there's absolutely no food waste. And dare I say it, the whole thing is making me enjoy the process of cooking. If you want to give HelloFresh a try, then head to the link in the description and you will get 60% off your first box and then 25% off for the next two months. Just use the code CAMPER60. That is hot. Now, where does she put the wooden spoon? Wooden spoon, I've burnt my arm. It's a new jumper. Wooden spoon, wooden folks I uh, slept in the van last night as is often the case when we when it's parked up next to the house but I'm up I've brushed my teeth I'm ready to go I'm taking the van for a wash the van is still in a bit of a state Emily was up quite late last night trying to sort things out make space because where we're going there's um there's two very different climates so we need to take a lot of stuff and space is obviously key in a van she's just at work so I'm going to do a few of the jobs on the outside of the van but before I can start them I need to give her a wash I don't know if you can really see but here some of the paint has chipped off and obviously that's going to get rust is coming and it's going to get rustier and rustier so we're going to treat that but before we do i've got myself some new improved snow chains and i need to try or fit them look who's just got back from work <laughs> just in time to try or fit snow chains i'm not happy about it i just think that if we have to put them on i'll stay in the van keeping an eye on aj and summer and you put them on the reason we're trial fitting them is one, to see if they actually fit, and two, you do not want to be the idiot that's holding everyone up because <laughs> you don't know how to fit their snow chains. And obviously if we can both do it, we can do one each and get on the move much quicker. Whatever, I'm standing in the warm, you do it. Oh, come on. <laughs> right, we're girls, so we'll peruse them. Oh, that's cold. <laughs> no, that's cold. <laughs> Imagine doing it mindless. This is a good practice run. You have to open up the loops. Open up the, open open up the loops. loops. Open up the loops. Oh dear. And then you've got to pull them up. Eh? It's not on the tyre though, Louise. Well, it won't. I can't get it on the tyre. You hold that end. Get it? Yeah. Oh, it's cold. Yeah, I know. What is it talking about? These are... Are you sure you got the right size? Yeah, so I've checked the front and I... Shove it and I'll pull. See, it doesn't fit the tyre, does it? Is it meant to fit the tyre, Louise? Oh, I've lost the... Instructions? <laughs> Find the instructions! It's not even windy! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Helen. All right, let me see that picture again. Look, this is the start. I reckon, look, right, if you look at the diagram, it looks like it's like that. You poke, I'll pull. This right. is a two-man job anyway. Louise. It is this a two-man job. This is why we're testing it out. Oh, you need that. You need to pull that. Are you getting it stuck on the tie on the back of the tie? Though? Emily's got this well under control, <laughs> <isn't> you? <laughs> You've taken charge, haven't you? <laughs> this is why you get paid the big bucks to be a boss. <laughs> Shut up. And I'm just your skivvy. No. But I don't think it's right. It's not. Do you've got to like? So then it says hook this, this one. Let's hook that one. But this is on. This is what I don't understand. It can't be on the other side. Yeah, but I think that'll tuck down the back in a minute, and this will no, be so. Look, the there's the join of that there. I feel it has to be. I don't make no sense though. Look, and then it hooks. Yes. 
front of the wheel. Yeah, I understand that. I get that. So yeah. that's the back of the wheel. Yeah. So that has to go. Yeah, well, let's do up our clips so we've got all the right bits. Yeah, we've done that. And the number four is take that back. Okay. See, that's again, that's why I'm, that's I'm in charge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad people are seeing your true colours. <laughs> what? Making sure we do it right. <laughs> right. This, this has got to go into. And that one must go over there then. Let me try and explain to you what I'm trying to say. <laughs> this part, right, yep. is there. Yep. And then that red part, by this diagram, should be over here. That's what I'm trying to say to you. 2,000 years later. That one, they're pretty tight. Yeah? Yeah. I feel that I nailed that. <laughs> of course you feel that you nailed that. I'm sorry, without my direction, you wouldn't have been able to do that. Thank you for your lead in my life. <laughs> Thank you for getting me to this age of 37. I'm, I'm glad. To be honest, up until the age of 25, I don't know how I got by. Neither do I. This passenger side is definitely the worst side, I reckon, because it's Emily's side. Just sanded off the loose paint and then I'm just going to chuck some of this on, cure rust. Hopefully that will treat any rust that is in there. It's not too bad. And then in about three hours, I can whack on a top coat. Later. Sorry folks, I lost you a bit this afternoon. I got waylaid with um, travel insurance and breakdown cover and all those boring things. Emily's got the washing machine working overtime while we get all our clothes ready and she's got a roast on. But I have finished this. Well, I've done the paint work anyway. It's very, very dark, so I can't really show you the shoddy paint job that I've done, but it doesn't really matter. Because that whole area is going to be covered over, but that's going to be a job now for tomorrow. Oh, it's cold outside. Yeah, that'll be a job for tomorrow. I've got some mud flaps, insert own innuendo there, uh, to go on, but I'll do that first thing in the morning before we set off. Um, yeah, another little tidy up in here because I'll probably spend the night in here again tonight and I'll see you lot tomorrow. Ah, right on the stones. I'm not gonna lie to you folks, trying to film me putting them on this morning was a nightmare. It's now hammering it down. Of course it is, we're getting on the road. And I had all kinds of problems. There's, um, they look crap if I'm honest, but hopefully they're gonna help, you know, stop me having to do this rust treatment every single year. But the problem is you get these little brackets. I don't know if you can see. As is usually the case with these things, it's just cheap tat that they've sent. They were 60 quid though for the pair, I think. And all the, well, it's just, you know, shid and gone crap so they're no good so one of them's only got one side to hold it on so it'll be interesting to see how long fanny's flaps last but now i think i need to cut a mat for emily moment of truth like it fits all right quality control happy with that well i suppose it'll do it'll do you've done all right what are you doing? <laughs> I'm putting it underneath. Are you double matting? <laughs> yeah. Double the protection, Louise. We did have a lovely mat down there that our friends got us, but unfortunately it has deteriorated. I think they deteriorate quick because we're in and out soaking wet all the time. Yes, aren't we? and always wiping the feet and the paws and stuff, aren't we? So, so we just buy cheap ones now from Dunelm, cut the corner off to make them fit in the gap, and jobs are good in. There you go, all done and dusted, ready for dirty adventures. Dirty adventures. Who wants to come on some <laughs> dirty adventures? I didn't even realise. I need to think before I speak. If, if you want to come on Dirty Adventures, then do consider hitting the subscribe button. We are ready pretty much to hit the road, aren't we? We are, the excitement is real and I can't wait. And we're going today, so we'll see you on our next adventure when hopefully we're in our, in, in our way? On our way. On our way to the mountains or in the mountains. And hopefully we'll be a little bit better at this. <laughs> see you next time. Bye.